What have I done? This is the Foca again. I was going to go out for some test glides today. Right now it's sitting on this fancy uh, center of gravity machine. Any airplane needs to have balance between the front and its tail. And to do that, there's a formula for finding along the wing where it should be balanced. And essentially what we're little 3D printed uh, CG machine is doing is using a load cell in the front and a load cell in the back and determining the weight on those and then doing some fancy math and coming up with well an overall weight for the model of just over 1100 grams and a center of gravity of 44.3 millimeters that means the balance point for this model is 43 millimeters back from that leading edge. And really, the issue that I'm seeing here is that this thing weighs 1,100 grams. It's pretty heavy for a two meter model. The uh, initial weight last night when I just got it knit together, and I knew it was gonna be a little bit more due to needing to add the battery and a voltage step down unit, um, device was about 826 grams. That means I had to add a significant amount of weight in the nose of this thing. So the center of gravity for planes vary with how the wings are set up. Sailplanes typically have what's called a high aspect ratio wing, the aspect being the cord length to the actual span. Since it is a pretty small cord here. Our leading edge is probably going to be a little bit further forward, like right around here. Um, again, it's supposed to be, according to the plans, 45 millimeters from our leading edge. And, you know, we, we need to get to, to that, that level. So there's a couple ways you can do that. Um, take the canopy off here. One way would be moving all of your major electronics forward. And as you can see, in the dark abyss of the fuselage here that we have three main servos that are controlling this model um, in the fuselage here and that would be our from back to front uh, rudder elevator and tow release these uh that's where the print had the holes for those servos so that's where i installed them now this mess up in front here <laughs> is where I tried to do the typical first thing to get a CG correct. First, I went with a larger battery. This is my custom-made lithium-ion uh, two-cell battery. It's going to put out about seven-some volts, which is a little too much for those little Emacs servos. So we have a BEC, and what this guy does is it knocks down a 2 to 3S LiPo, to five or six volts, as you can see here. Uh, so that'll take the little over seven volts that, well, I guess eight some volts that, that thing normally charges out to and puts it uh, down to something that the servo can use. So we got a nice fat battery up there, hope, hopefully helping us get some of that, uh, that weight and useful electrons, right? We have uh, the BEC, but that enough was, that alone was not enough to get the cell plane to balance. So, how does somebody balance one of these sail planes that is still, after having that battery and the BEC moved all the way forward? Well, you start adding some kind of heavy metal. And I don't mean, you know, Metallica. This is five ounces of lead. And that's what it took to get the sail plane to balance to 45 millimeters. Yeah. So we went from an 826 gram model to just over 1,100 grams. It's a pretty significant difference. That may affect the flight performance significantly.